Hello everyone, my name is Cindy Allen and I'm a councilwoman for the second district, which includes Bixby Park. And we are here today to honor Dr. Mickey Donahoe, who is the founder of the Bixby Dog Park. Um, thank you, Mr. Dennis, for being here today and for honoring um, Dr. Mickey Donahoe in this way. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask you is, what can people do um, in the community, like the advocates for Bixby Dog Park, to help the city? Oh, Councilwoman, that's really a great question. You know, and first of all, it's really an honor to be out in our parks with you today, and we really have always appreciated your support of everything that Parks, Recreation, and Marine uh, works every day to provide to the community. But there's lots of opportunities for residents uh, and neighborhood groups to help support our cause. Uh, we have uh, volunteer opportunities, and I know the friends of the Mickey Donahue Dog Park also had been out uh, even doing something as simple as spreading wood chips across the park and coming out on weekends just to help clean things up. But uh, we have an organization called Partners of Parks and they've helped uh, all across the city develop Friends of the Parks organizations. And really it's been a great vehicle, a tremendous partner for our department over the years to really advance a lot of programming. Uh, they've created scholarships to support a lot of our youth so they can stay active. But really in terms of just what the mission of our department's all about. We couldn't ask for a greater partner. And of course, we're always open arms to anyone in the community who wants to help out. That's wonderful. So I have a question for you. How many dog parks are there in District 2? Yeah, we actually have three. So the Mickey Donahoe uh, dog park behind us is our newest one that we're really proud of. But downtown uh, in the Pike, we have Pike Dog Park. It's probably our smallest park, but it's beautifully designed. It actually meets the needs of a lot of the residents. There's more and more people living uh, in and around downtown Long Beach. So that particular park is really uh, well serving the immediate neighbors. And then uh, we also have out at Seaside, which is on the western edge of Council District 2, is another dog park. But I'm really excited in the future uh, we'll be uh, with uh, the rebirth of Lincoln Park downtown by the Civic Center uh, complex. Uh, that park will also have a brand new dog park. So uh, eventually there'll be four in Council District 2. That's awesome. But I just want to thank you for being here. Thank you for coming out um, with this honor. It was really, um, just really fantastic to have you here today. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you much. Great opportunity. And now we're going to go to our next guest. Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm here with Robin Richardson, who is the president of the uh, Dr. Mickey Bixby Dog Park. And uh, thank you for being here with us today. Um, I have a couple questions for you. I'd like to know more about Dr. Mickey um, Donahue and would also like to know like how the advocates um, were formed and, and how all of this came together. So I would appreciate um, if you could just, you know, let us all know how this all came about. Well, I met Dr. Mickey Donahoe, we called her Mickey, and she uh, was very active in trying to get the dog park to exist. And she came to all the meetings with uh, Janine Pierce and the other people from District 2 to try and get the dog park going. And then how this group got formed, Council District 2 actually spearheaded uh, the formation of a community group. And Mickey basically said, I'll, I'll be involved and be on the board and be an officer or run for officer if you will. So we kind of made a pact to do that. And there were meetings over at the community center here and all the people that were interested showed up and we just formed, we formed our group and we started having meetings and advocating for different things to happen in the park. That's awesome. Um, so can you let us know, um, why are dog parks, you know, in the city so important? Dog parks are so important because most of the people around here, a lot of the people around here don't have yards and a lot of people have dogs and they need a place where they can take their dogs and let them go off leash and socialize and get exercise. So most importantly, it's for the dogs. But then the second great benefit is the community that it makes between people from all different socioeconomic groups, all different 
stripes, you know, come there with your dogs and you can bond over your dogs. And I think it really creates community like almost nothing else, really. People do bond over their animals. I agree. And so I do have a, um, one last question. So what can people do in the community to help out here at Bixby Park? Um, we have an event every six months where we get a delivery of wood chips from the city to actually um, make sure the park isn't full of dust and dirt. And we need the community to help us spread those chips about twice a year. We put signs up on the kiosk and you can also join our mailing list, which is Dr. Mickey's Dog Park at gmail.com and um, help us out by just spending a day, a couple hours spreading the chips. You were there last time, Cindy, so you know it was pretty fun. We bring water and we bring all the equipment. So that's our main event right now. Robin, one last question. How can people get involved um, in the Advocates for Bixby Dog Park? We have a Facebook page, The Advocates for Dr. Mickey's Dog Park, and we're also on Instagram. You can email us or just when you see us at the park, say hi and um, we'll sign you up. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for both of my guests for being here today. And I uh, just want to remind everyone to get involved with your parks, get involved with your dog parks. Don't forget to pick up those drippings. It was nice seeing everyone. Go Long Beach.